What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you my minimalist Zcam E2 rigs. So we're keeping it real minimalist in today's video and showing a really simple, lightweight, compact setup for the Zcam E2. Um, I'm only ever plugging two cables into the camera and anywhere and I can use the full functionality of the camera. I have a fully articulating touchscreen monitor in the form of an iOS device every time, uh, external hard drive for recording large amounts of footage, uh, and you know, top handle, gimbal setup, you know, pretty much whatever I need. Really minimalist and really tiny. Now, a lot of people, when they get the Zcam E2, immediately uh, rig it up. You know, uh, people do that with a lot of cameras. Uh, and that's awesome. You know, it's a small kind of brain of a camera that you can use really modularly and build it out into something bigger. But when I saw that camera, I saw something different. I saw an opportunity to have a really small, high quality cinema camera image that just fits anywhere, uh, in a backpack, in a really small bag, just anywhere. Uh, and I have set up my rig in a couple different configurations that are all really uh, lightweight, uh, minimal, but everything uh, works and is really functional and is pretty fast to set up. So the first way that I set up my Z cam uh, is, as you guys can see here, this is just the body itself with a lens on it. It's a uh, vintage Canon FD lens. Uh, and what I'll usually do just as like a minimal setup is slide in a battery. Uh, I'll take a phone holder. Uh, and put that at the top of the camera here. Uh, I have this cool uh, kind of quick release setup uh, with all these different rig parts. Um, this isn't the uh, phone holder I recommend actually. I'm just using this one because I let someone else use the one that I recommend, but I'll have links to everything, all the different parts for this uh, in the description. Uh, you know, uh, that will help me out a bit if you guys use those links. Actually, they're Amazon affiliate links. So here is like the most minimalist setup, right? I'll take my phone, slot it in here. Uh, and then I just take a USB cable and slide it in here. And this is fully functional, but if I want to actually like have a bit more grip, you know, instead of holding this like kind of a, a cube, some weird cube, I attach this uh, wooden side handle. Uh, link to this will also be in the uh, description. So I just screw this on right here. All right. And the camera's actually on now. So I'm going to launch the app. Uh, yeah. And you guys can see here. I have a, uh, you know, monitor, uh, side handle, battery. I have a CFAS card that just sits in here, uh, 256 gigs. So it wasn't like the most expensive thing I've ever had to buy in my life. Uh, but yeah, this is like a really small, minimal setup and it really gets the job done for everything. You can monitor, control everything from the phone. Um, yeah. It's uh, kind of similar to like what you would get if you use a mirrorless camera or something like that. You know, you have a fully articulating screen uh, and all that. 
However, uh, this isn't really optimal for everything because I have such a small CFAST card. Uh, what I end up doing a lot of the time is using an external hard drive and also a phone screen while great. Like I usually don't like to use my phone as a monitor when I'm like really on set. This is more like what I'll have on me if I just randomly want to shoot something in the middle of the day. But if I'm on set, I don't want to use my phone because I might uh, get a call or something like that. So I have an iPad mini uh, that I use as a monitor. Uh, and I have a kind of different rig for hooking that up. So I'll show you guys what that is. Uh, for that, I will unplug and disconnect all this stuff. I'll leave the wooden side handle on. Uh, and so I have this, this is a top handle. Um, I think who makes this? I can't even remember film city. Uh, this is just a generic top handle that I've had for a while. Uh, and it's using the same quick release system, uh, as you can see as everything else, uh, needs to get straightened out a little bit though. And I can take this and just slide it on to the camera like anything else. All right, so here I now have a top handle. And what I'll do here is kind of place the iPad at the side of this. Uh, I'll show you guys, I'm like kind of setting it up in my lap because I don't have enough space for a table in between here uh, to show you guys. But this is kind of uh, how it looks. Uh, as you guys can see, camera body uh, with the handle. I have a hard drive here, top handle, uh, and this iPad. Uh, so I just take a cable, hook it up into the iPad, and I'll hook my camera uh, to the iPad via Ethernet this time because Actually, uh, I want to use the USB-C for the hard drives. So here you guys can see I'm using the Tilta like locking cable. Uh, it doesn't actually lock to the back of the uh, hard drive because I'm not using the Tilta rig or whatever. But this is the kind of attachment for Ethernet, USB-C to a hard drive and iPad. So if I go into the iPad and I launch the app, you can see that you get full functionality with everything. Yeah, so once again, here you guys could see, I have the iPad set up as a monitor and you can fully control the camera that way and uh, it's pretty like handy actually uh, to hold and use in this way. Uh, never had any problems with it. It's actually really stable. Uh, it's like the way it's balanced with the top handle. Uh, you get like a, again, a fully articulating touchscreen that controls everything, side handle, hard drive, uh, pretty much like everything that I personally need and when I disassemble all of this stuff, it actually, you know, because it's an iPad uh, and I can like, you know, kind of reconfigure the arrangement of these parts. It all fits uh, really snugly into just one uh, like half of a backpack, like not even that probably like a quarter of a backpack, uh, which is kind of the dream for me, right? Having just this minimal setup uh, with just the camera, side handle, battery, hard drive, iPad kind of combo uh, that works really, really well. It's very convenient, very small, uh, relatively easy to set up. I just have to plug in a couple cables and turn stuff on. Not quite as fast as like the EOS RP that I'm shooting on now 
or like some sort of a mirrorless solution, but compared to some cinema cameras and how you would have to, for example, hook up a RAD if you're gonna set that up, this is way, way, way faster. Uh, and this is really tiny and small and fits into a small package and uses NPFs. In the description, I'll have links for all the different rig setups and all the parts uh, for each configuration. But there's one more way that I sometimes use this, and it's on a gimbal. Uh, I try not to use a gimbal too much, actually, just because it's like more setup than any of this stuff. But using the gimbal with this camera is pretty easy because uh, it's a cube, so it's pretty easy to balance. And... Uh, I can actually take this top handle situation, you know, as you know, off, and I just attach that to the gimbal itself. So I still have my hard drive and my huge monitor and all of that functionality just on a gimbal. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so I kind of zoomed out uh, revealing some of my <laughs> lighting stuff, but I just wanted you guys to have a better view of the entire gimbal setup here. Uh, this is actually a really old Fiutech gimbal that I've had for a really long time, but the Zcam is so small and light that I haven't needed to upgrade gimbals actually. Uh, it's not on right now as you can see it flopping around, but uh, you can see I uh, have the camera here, legs, arm, and hooked up are the hard drive and uh, the actual iPad still. And everything still works exactly the same way. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that kind of oops <laughs> set up with the quick release stuff, uh, I'm able to attach uh, this arm here uh, to the actual gimbal itself uh, so that I'm keeping everything in exactly the same configuration. So I'm not really having to mess around with stuff too much, you know, which could possibly introduce uh, some kind of error or something like that. Uh, never have to deal with that because it's just one kind of solid assembly. I just take the top handle, I attach it to the camera or I attach it to the gimbal and I do as I must. Uh, and if I'm just like really super on the go, I don't even bother with that, you know, just slap the phone on the top, side handle, and I'm good to go. So what did you guys think of that setup? Uh, and if you have a Z cam, how do you set yours up? Or really just any camera. Are you guys rigging things out into massive rigs or are you of the philosophy of like, you know, just getting like a Panasonic G9 or EOS R or something like that, where you just have the camera and you just use that and that's all you need, you know, or somewhere in the middle, like uh, where I am, you know, it's kind of in the middle of like a mirrorless camera where you just grab and go and like a red <laughs> you know which is a process uh you know i wish they'd be more like ari and canon because those cameras actually aren't that terrible to set up anyway Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I guess a thumbs down if you didn't like it, or you could just, you know, not do anything. Just leave me an angry comment instead so that we can talk it out in the comment section below. Uh, and also down there, you guys can leave any questions that you have for me uh, or just say what's up. Uh, if you want to support the channel, again, you can use any of the links in the description uh, for any of the products that I use in this rig. Uh, and uh, you could also buy my Lightroom presets uh, and my LUTs uh, if they're released at this time. I think they will be. Uh, if you want to, like, you know, step up or speed up your color grading and photo editing and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know... Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this minimalist camera rig setup. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, uh, all that stuff, you know, so you know when new videos are coming out. Uh, you know, I talk about like camera stuff and I'm gonna be talking about some more audio stuff. You guys always see like all those audio things in the background. Uh, 
you know, if you guys are interested in any of that gear, I'll probably do like a what's in my studio walkthrough and then you guys can ask me about specifics. Uh, but yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.